Hello, my name is Louise Johnson and I'm going to show you how to do a Japanese body massage, which is also known as shiatsu. The basic shiatsu position is a kneeling position where you put your body weight onto the person who's receiving the treatment. As you can imagine, it's very important to make sure that as you do this, we take care of the spine of the person who you're working with. So there's two points on the spine where we can actually apply quite a lot of pressure without damaging the person. In shiatsu, we mainly use our body weight to apply pressure. The first point is here on the coccyx. And the second point is at the place where, on most people, is the highest point between the shoulder blades. One of the basic principles of shiatsu is applying perpendicular pressure, which means that the hands, my arms, should be at 90 degrees to the body of the person who I'm working with. So as I lean forward, I'm not actually applying very much pressure at the moment. Most of my pressure, most of my weight is still on my knees. You can ask the person receiving, how does the pressure feel? Okay, so now I'm going to just sink into your back. So I'm applying equal pressure here now with my right hand and my left hand. I'm going to put my left hand here and equalise the pressure. Another thing you can do which feels very nice is a stretch across the back. So I'm placing this hand here on the edge of the pelvis. I know I can apply quite a lot of pressure here without actually hurting the person because the pelvis is very strong. And this hand here, I'm just going to place around the shoulder blade. And then I'm going to lean over into the middle using my body weight to push the two hands apart slightly. And that's pushing down on either side of the spine. Slowly, gently and quite firmly but not hard. So I'm waiting until I feel her chest rise and as it falls I'm going to push down on either side of the spine. Be very careful that you're not touching the spine and that your palms are definitely either side. Each time, look, I'm just checking where the vertebrae is. I'm working. See, now that one's a bit hard there. So I'm not going to apply so much pressure to that now. It feels very nice to have a stretch here. So you can take the person's leg and apply a nice stretch. Remember to put a good strong mother hand here on the, on the base of the spine and that helps to open out the pelvis at the front. It feels really nice. A fail safe point on the foot that you can use for general relaxation, releasing anxiety, promoting sleep, restlessness, calming the mind. And that's right in the centre of the foot. This is a side position and um, we're basically going to apply the same techniques that we've used on the back but in side position you can access different parts of the body and it's also a really good way for working with pregnant women who can't lie on their fronts. So you can actually access the back and apply gentle, not too strong pressure here. You can work down the legs. So what we've covered today is some of the basic principles of how to give a relaxing massage using some of the basic techniques of shiatsu.